I'm going to show you how to design this church flyer with Corel Draw 2020. So stick around to the end of this video. What's up you guys? My name is Dennis. Welcome and welcome back to another video. If learning graphic design and making creative design suits your interest, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos like this one. So these are the resources I'll be using for this design and I'm going to link all these resources on the description so you can check it out and download them. Then make your own design and send it to me on Instagram. So let's move to Corel Draw. Once you open up your Corel Draw, this is the first screen you see. And next thing you want to do is to click on New Documents to open up a new document. Or you click on File and click on New to create a new document. Or you press Ctrl N on your keyboard to open up this dialog box. And once this dialog box is out, and most Corel Draw do not have this dialog box if it's not set. You just press Ctrl N and open up your workspace at once. But if you have this dialog box, then you have to set your your page size how you want everything to be. Then you set your page size to A5. Now we are working with A5 flyer, so I'm going to set my size to A5. Now a normal standard size for flyers are A5 size, so I'm going to leave it at A5 and set my unit to inches then i'll set my orientation to landscape and i think this is okay for the design then i'm going to click on okay but if you need to give this file a name you set your name to flyer design and that is okay you click on okay and your workspace opens up like this and the next thing you need to do is to click on rectangle tool double click on the rectangle tool to get this a5 size like this you can see it's exactly a5 compared to the normal method of just clicking on rectangle tool and creating your own size alone if you check the edges it might not be the same but when you double click on the rectangle tool you have the exact a5 size just as you can see here then i need to take off this black outline so i'm going to right click here to take off the black outline around the shape and next thing i want to do is to bring in all the resources i have for this design so i can begin the design and i'm going to open up this select all and open it up with corel draw bring it into corel draw just like this so these are all the resources i'll group all and reduce them so i can work with them okay that's fine and I'm going to bring in my background. You can separate this so you see all your elements very well. Okay. Um, basically, I'm separating all the elements so I see all of them at once. Next up, I'm going to click on the shape and give it red color. And using your interactive view tool, or you simply press G on your keyboard to activate the interactive view tool and fill this shape with black. And once you do that, you have this view here. And you want to make it elliptical fountain view. So you click on elliptical fountain view. But this time, I don't want the black to be on the center. I want the red to be on the center and the black outside. Then I'm going to click on reverse view. You can see how the fill has been reversed just like this. And next thing you want to do is to open up your view like this and make sure that the black is not abundant just like the red. So you click on the red and so you click on the black and adjust it to you. The red is more abundant than the black and that is fine for the background. Next thing you want to do is to bring in this image into the background. Right click on the image and click on power clip inside. And once you do that, you have this cursor change to this arrow like this. You click on the shape you want to power clip inside and the picture is actually inside the power clip. Let's open up our power clip to see where the picture is located. You click on edit power clip and you see where the picture is. So you bring it inside the design and place it here. You can adjust the scale like this and bring it to this position. 
so this looks fine next thing you want to do is to click on your transparency tool and make this part of the picture transparent and the same to this other side of the picture now what the transparency tool does that it's black height part of the picture and white reveals part of the picture so press shift on your keyboard and click and drag like this now black hides this part of the picture and reveals this part of the picture then you want to apply another transparency here so you click on bitmap and convert to bitmap and make it rgb you click on ok and that is fine then you press shift again and apply transparency on this side now black hides this side and reveals this side so you adjust your white till it feels this way like this now it makes the picture not too visible but visible okay then you click on finish editing power clip to see how it looks like and this looks fine next thing you want to do is to bring in this other background into the design as well right click and click on power clip inside and click on your shape so the picture goes inside the power clip just like this you can press on alternate and place it the way you want it to be on the design so this is the level you want to keep it now when you press alternate on your keyboard you are able to click and select objects inside the power clip but with that i'm going to open up my power clip again and click on edit and click on the background press ctrl page down to send it behind this other image then you click on the transparency tool and press shift and fill this part of the background and compare to bitmap again just like before press shift and fill this other side of the background as well so this is done next thing you want to do is to change the match mode to overlay so it blends with the background then i need to close my power clip before doing this click on finish editing power clip. so you see how your match mode works press alternate on your keyboard and select the background which is the one here you click on transparency to click on match mode and click on overlay so your picture blends with the background just as you can see here and the next thing you want to do is to click on pick two to see how it looks like and this background treatment is very nice and i want to bring in this light to the background as well then i'm going to treat this light like this click on transparency to press shift and fill here convert to bitmap and do the same again here and convert to bitmap and do the same again and convert to bitmap and do the same again here and convert to bitmap and now this light is more of blue but i need a color that will blend with the background so i'm going to click on effects click on adjust and click on hue saturation lightness or you press ctrl shift u let's see how it works ctrl shift and u to open up this dialog box that has hue saturation and lightness then you try to adjust your hue to where you have red so this is where i have red and you leave it at 150 so you have the red and you see the red blends with the background so well and next thing you want to do is to click on transparency tool and click on your match mode and change it to screen now what screen does is it makes the part of your image that is bright to be more brighter and the part that is dark to be less and that is what you see here it makes every part that has black or that has a solid color to become less and it brings in the brighter part of the image and that is what you use in your lens flex so what you do now is to right click on the light and click on power clip inside and click on the shape to power clip inside press alternate on your keyboard and select the light and bring it to this part of the design you can reduce this again and bring it here so this looks fine at the position so next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this background again right click and click on power clip inside and click on your shape then you open up your background just like this press shift while doing this so you remain on the even shape like this that is fine then you click on your transparency to click on 
fountain transparency and you see how the black hides this part of the background and reveals this part but this time i want the black to hide the top and reveal the bottom so i'm going to bring the black here and bring the white here so it reveals it this way and it blends with the background so well you can take the background upwards a little and this looks fine next up i'm going to bring in this tone paper into the background you can see how it looks like like a tone paper right click and click on power clip inside and click on the shape so it goes inside the power clip you press alternate on your keyboard and select the tone paper and adjust it this way and this looks fine bring it down a little and position it here and that is perfect for it and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the three pictures i have for this design here so i'm going to before then i'm going to set the pictures accordingly now this picture will be here and bring it here adjust the scale again and bring it close to this and what you'll be looking at is the size of the face or the head and make sure the head size are almost the same and bring this as well adjust again and bring it close sorry and bring it close to this now if you observe this other picture is larger than this other two so i'm going to press shift and reduce it again till the scale looks almost the same with the other picture so there will be a kind of pattern following the design and every picture looks equal okay and that's fine now you can enlarge the middle picture since that is the main picture we'll be looking at and that looks fine next thing i'm going to do is to add transparency effect on all these pictures and click on the first picture and i think this picture is still larger than every other picture so i'm going to reduce it again okay i think this is okay bring it out a little and that's fine click on this picture and click on transparency tool and fill it like this and click on this other picture and fill it the same way and click on this other picture and fill it the same way so this is what we have got then you have to select all these pictures and press ctrl g then bring it to the design press shift and reduce the scale like this right click and click on power clip inside then click on your design and the picture goes inside the power clip then you press alternate on your keyboard and select the picture and bring it here and that looks fine you can reduce the scale again and place it exactly here and that looks perfect then you press control page down to send it to the back sorry control page up to bring it upwards and that is fine so this position of these pictures are very perfect and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the logo here and reduce the scale press shift and reduce the scale like this and that looks fine next thing i'm going to do is to click on the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this and that looks fine you can see the rectangle is exactly like the logo then i'm going to make this edit on the logo click on your shape tool hold one of the nodes and make it curve like this and that is fine next up you change your cursor to pick tool and press shift and select the logo itself and click on intersect and once you do that you see you'll be able to take off this shape and click on the logo and delete then you have this curved logo maybe you do not understand let me repeat this process again okay now you click on your logo click on rectangle tool and create a shape exactly the same size with the logo and click on your shape tool and create and click on one of the nodes and create this curve like this then once you do that you click on your pick tool press shift and select the logo itself and click on this intersect and once you do that you delete the shape and click on the edge of this logo and delete then you have this curved logo like this and that looks fine and next thing i want to do is to bring in the type and the text i have for this flyer i can release the logo again and that looks okay and open up microsoft where i have where i have all the write-ups 
for the flyer then i'm going to select or press ctrl c to copy and paste it here click on your text tool and click here and press ctrl v then the text opens up this dialog box you click on ok and the text opens up like this and that is fine then you select the this okay so you select this and press ctrl x to cut and bring it here click and press ctrl v to paste and that is fine you can change your color to white so it becomes visible on the background you bring it here press ctrl k to break the text apart just as you can see i've been able to break this text apart like this and you change your type to champion but then i want to use another family of champion and that is champion gothic lightweight and that is cool you adjust the size like this click on the other text and change the typeface to helvetica and click on ok and that is fine you can make it bold and reduce the font like this you take it closer to the church name and that is fine select all and press ctrl g to group and press shift and select the logo and press e to centralize evenly and take it close to the logo again and select all with the logo and press ctrl g press shift and select the background and press c to centralize then you bring this down a little so it won't go close to the edge of the design too much and next thing you want to do is to select this text again and press ctrl x and click here and press ctrl v to paste and change the color to white as well and press ctrl k to break the text and next thing you want to do is to break this again here and press ctrl k to break the text again so you can bring this downwards and create this shape like this using your rectangle tool you create this shape like this and give it a yellow color and i'm going to use this deep yellow and right click here to take off the outline and click on the shape again to get these curves you hold here and drag to this other side and that looks fine then you can fill this with orange and you click on orange to fill it like this this looks perfect click and drag right click before you leave to duplicate this shape and give it white color then you reduce it again and bring it just under here press ctrl page down to send it to the back and next thing i want to do is to add shadows to this but before then i'm going to click on mirror horizontally to mirror it this way then i'm going to add shadow to the yellow shape you click on the yellow shape and click on shadow to then you drop a shadow like this and that looks perfect click on the white and click on copy shadow properties and click on the shadow on the yellow to copy the same shadow property to the white and that looks fine next thing you want to do is to click on this text change the typeface to hell vertical and that is cool convert it to bold and reduce the font size like this bring it just here and press ctrl page up to send it to the top then you can change your color to black so it becomes visible on the shape next thing you want to do is to click on program and change the typeface to hell vertical and that looks fine make it bold as well and change it to black also uh, i think red will be perfect then you use your shape tool and adjust the tracking like this then you reduce your font size and bring it here press ctrl page up to send it to the top and you can group all and press ctrl g then you bring this here and adjust it like this perfect click on present change the typeface to hell vertical as well and click on your shape tool and adjust the tracking as well change your font size and bring it here you can reduce the font like this and bring it here and that looks fine group all and adjust it again the size and take it upward so this is fine and next thing you want to do is to bring in this other text press ctrl x and paste here 
change your color to white and press ctrl k to break text apart then change your team typeface to hell vertical and that looks fine then you can adjust the tracking like this and reduce the font size again and take it upwards take this upwards also and close up this text like this and change your typeface to pep c okay whoa this is not the typeface so i'm going to open it up and click on pep c and that looks cool click on your shape tool and adjust the tracking like this and press ctrl k to break the text apart select or press alternate and do this selection like this and leave to select that text alone now when you press alternate and select an object on your design you're able to select just that object let's see this again if i'm to select without pressing the alternate you observe that when you click and drag you are picking up the shape instead of the selection so you press ctrl z press alternate and make this selection like this then you leave your alternate and you see you are able to make this selection on just the text alone then you press ctrl g that looks fine you are just the size like this now this will be my focal point that is why i'm making it large like this bring it down a little so you reveal this image here then you select the bible portion here and you click on the text again and give it yellow color then fill this with your interactive view to you fill it this way press shift on your keyboard and fill it this way then you give it orange and double click on this line and give it yellow then you click on this other side of the hill and give it orange as well then you have this type of hill like this you can adjust the hill this way and this looks perfect click on this and change the typeface to hell vertical as well and adjust the tracking also and make another space here to make that text easily red you can bring it to this other side and that looks fine click on team and bring it close to this other side and that looks fine as well then better still select or and press c and bring it to this other side that is perfect press on the g to group or then i'm going to add my shadow click on this and drop a shadow just as the same as the first shadow you drop the shadow again that looks fine adjust your transparency or your opacity and reduce the faders just like this and that is perfect you can see how it looks very cool you can take this upwards a little and this looks fine bring it to this other side and this looks fine and next thing you want to do is to bring in this date press ctrl x to cut and click here and test and change the typeface to hell vertical change your color to white and i don't want this th to be like this so i'm going to close this up and type this and close this up again and type this then you are going to break this text like this and break it again and break it again and break again then press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text apart select this and this and bring it to this other side and bring this here now what you want to do is to click on this 8 and change the typeface to pepsi and do the same to 12 and change the typeface to pepsi as well that looks cool you click on monday and bring it here change the font size to nine points and increase the eight just like this and next you want to do is to copy these same properties to this other one so you click on monday right click and drag to when you have friday then when you have your line just as what you can see change to a you leave and you click on copy all properties so every property that monday has friday has the same you click on friday you have nine points as well then you do the same to eight click on eight right click and drag to 12 and you have these options you click on copy all properties so all the properties that eight has 12 have the same then you 
bring it close to this. Press it and select this and press T to align all to the top. Do the same to this. Press it and select this and press T to align all to the top. Then press it and select 12 and press C to centralize. And that is fine. Then you bring April 2021 down here and make it bold just under here. You can convert this to yellow as well. And that looks perfect. Then using your pen to you create this custom angle like this and give it white color and right click here to take off the outline. Then you can group all and press Ctrl G and bring it just under here. And this looks perfect. You can adjust the size like this and it looks very cool and nice. Next thing you want to do is to bring in this date icon here and it's actually a bitmap icon but i need to change the color so i can't change the color of bitmap you can see the color is not working then i have to trace this bitmap for that i'm going to click on trace bitmap and careful don't reduce the icon before tracing it because when you reduce the icon you will lose details so you leave it large like this and click on trace bitmap click on outline trace and click on line art then you have this done and you click on details and drag it to this side so you won't lose more details you have your details back and you make sure you see other smoothing is 25 and corner smooth zero and you click on ok and you have this trace like this and this is bitmap and this is trace so you click on this and delete then you click on your trace and give it this yellow color like this you can see I'm able to apply the yellow color on the trace. Then you can now reduce it and bring it to your design. And this looks perfect. Then you bring down here, reduce this and place here. And that is a symbol to show that that is a date. You can bring this to this other side so it aligns with the text above. That is perfect. Next thing you want to do is to bring in this other icon as well the venue and the time and i'm going to do the same process and click on trace bitmap outline trace line art and once you do that you have this trace like this And you can see all your details are ready so you click on ok and that is fine and you delete this other side and leave this which is trace you do the same to this again trace bitmap outline trace and line art and you have all your details back and you click on ok and that is fine you click this and delete so i'm going to bring this here and make the color red and reduce this like this and place it here then I'm going to copy this and press Ctrl X on my keyboard and paste it here. Then break this text into two like this and change my typeface to uh, vertical and make it bold. Then adjust your tracking like this and this looks fine. You place it here and adjust this way. Now the tracking is less. So I'm going to click and reduce this again adjust the tracking fine and do the same again for this and reduce the icon and bring it here and make it red and that looks perfect reduce this again and place it here and you copy this press ctrl x and paste here and make it bold and change the typeface to uh, vertical and adjust it this way make it bold okay and place it here that looks fine and next thing you want to do is to bring in jesus is lord press ctrl x to cut and paste here change the typeface to a vertical and make it bold you click on 7 pm daily right click and drag to this text till you have that cursor change to a you leave then you 
click on copy all properties so the jesus is lord is the same size as others you change it to red and press it on your keyboard and select 7 pm daily and press e to balance the alignment you click on your pick tool and create this straight line press shift while doing this so you remain on a straight line and double click here to create this line like this then you change your outline to two points and right click here to make it red and place it here and that looks fine then you can group all and press ctrl g press shift and select the design and press c then you click and tap your down page down arrow and bring it downwards and that looks fine so for this i'm going to press shift on my keyboard and select the paper here and bring it down again so you can reveal enough space for the design then on group then you click on your design click on edit to open up your power clip then i want to change this part of the torn paper to yellow so i'm going to ungroup the torn paper and click here and change it to yellow then fill it with orange using your interactive field to fill it with orange and that looks fine then you group all and press ctrl g on your keyboard and click on your shadow tool and create this shadow like this and that is fine adjust your transparency to 100 percent and that is okay finish editing power clip to have this effect like this and we are almost through with the design and next thing you want to do is to bring this name select all and press ctrl x to cut and paste here and change the color to white and press ctrl k to break the text apart then you can select all and change the typeface to helvetica and that looks cool bring the first name and place here and break it this way and centralize this and bring it here then you can select this other name and make it bold adjust the tracking like this and that looks fine do the same to this other one bring it to this side and break the text just like this and this looks fine then you adjust the tracking and using your text tool you select this again and make it bold that looks perfect bring it here and and this looks okay you can centralize this as well click on this and bring it here break the text again and break it again and centralize also and select this all and make it bold then you click on your shape tool and adjust the tracking like this and that looks fine then i'm going to use my pen tool to create these arrows like this these angles like this and it's perfect you change it to yellow and right click here to change to remove the outline then you bring it again to this other side and do the same to this other side now i've been able to duplicate this i'm going to du duplicate it again then you click and drag and right click before you leave click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate so this looks perfect and very nice with this i think the design is almost done and the last element i want to bring into this design is this lens flare you can get any lens flare you want on google search engine and that is perfect all these resources i use for this design are all gotten from google search engine so i will link it up on the description so you can download it and use it for your own design and you adjust your lens flare like this and place it here now i'm going to change the image mode to screen what screen does is screen hides every dark part of your image and reveals the brighter part of the image so i'm going to click on transparency to click on match mode and change it to screen and you have this lens flare just like this you can adjust your lens flare again adjust again and this looks fine adjust it again then clear and drop and right click before you leave to duplicate and reduce this other one and place it here so that looks perfect 
for the design you can select all and press ctrl j to group your design then let's see how the final design looks like i'm going to zoom in and preview so this is the final look of this design so one last tip before we close up the whole stuff before you design ensure that your pictures blends with the background and why i did not adjust the mode of this picture i did not adjust or blend the picture with the background is that already the pictures are well blended with the background so i don't need to adjust my color balance or my tone or any other stuff but if you're working with a picture that does not blend with your background preferably you use backgrounds that blends with your picture and you don't use and you don't make your picture to blend with your background instead you use backgrounds that blends with your picture and that is nice thank you very much for watching this video if you find this video helpful leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe just three minutes and you are done thank you very much for watching this video i will see you next time